Fear often manifests in our bodies through symptoms such as increased heart rate, sweating, a feeling of tightness in the chest, or even dizziness. Emotionally, you might experience anxiety, stress, or a sense of dread. Becoming aware of these signs is the first step in identifying your fears. From a Kabbalistic point of view, these physical and emotional reactions are seen as signals from our soul, alerting us to areas that need attention and healing. Pay attention to these signs. Ask yourself, what situations or thoughts trigger these physical and emotional reactions? By identifying the context in which you feel these symptoms, you can begin to uncover your underlying fears. Next, our fears often follow specific patterns and are triggered by certain situations, environments, or people. Start by keeping track of when you feel afraid or anxious. Are there reoccurring themes? In Kabbalah, the situations that trigger our fears often point to areas in our lives where we have the opportunity to grow and transform. Identifying these patterns and triggers can help you anticipate and manage your fears more effectively. Asking yourself questions is another powerful tool for identifying your fears. This self-inquiry encourages deeper reflection and can uncover fears that might not be immediately obvious. Here are some key questions to consider. What am I afraid of losing? What is the worst that could happen in this situation? Why does this situation make me uncomfortable? How likely is it that my fear will come true? And if my fear did come true, what could I do to cope with it? From a Kabbalistic viewpoint, this process of questioning is the same as the practice called Itbonenut, or deep contemplation. It allows us to connect with our inner wisdom and divine guidance, leading to significant insights about our fears and their roots. Finally, seeking feedback from people you trust or having a mentor or teacher that can guide you is invaluable. Sometimes our fears are more apparent to others than they are to ourselves. In Kabbalah, community and relationships are vital for spiritual growth. So looking for feedback from others can provide the support and perspective that you need to see your fears clearly and work through them. By observing your physical and emotional reactions, recognizing patterns and triggers, asking deep questions, and looking for feedback, you can gain a deeper understanding of your fears. This self-awareness, enhanced by Kabbalistic insights, is the foundation for transforming fear into a source of growth and empowerment. The journey to overcoming fears begins with understanding it. So keep reflecting, stay mindful, and you'll make progress. Next time, we'll talk about transforming our fears. Thank you.